But it all comes down to this. It is gold medal day for Great Britain and they need just a point from this final game this afternoon against Ukraine and that will be promotion to Division 1A of the World Championship. Seth Bennett is alongside me as he has been all week. Seth, are you excited? Oh yeah, this is the moments that you dream about, whether you're a player, whether you're an equipment man or, or whether you're a media man. And the chance to commentate on Great Britain winning gold I got the opportunity last year. Unfortunately, they couldn't quite deliver this time round, though you think, could it be the time? Could it be the one, the first time in 23 years, Great Britain skate away with gold? What would it mean to, to British ice hockey to get back up to 1A? I think it means everything. I think British ice hockey on a domestic level is slowly but surely turning people's heads. And we heard from the IIHF earlier this week. They talked about the fact that Great Britain should be a stable Division 1A side and should perhaps be pushing towards going up. And if you look over the last 23 years, that's where Great Britain have been. And, you know, this we hopefully will see has been a blip a couple of years down at the, the lower level. But now this group of players have got the opportunity to make some history. And it, it is a, a once in a, a generation achievement, isn't it, to get mm. a gold medal at a World Championships. And you look at this lineup, Robert uh, Ross Venus was, wasn't even born yeah. <laughs> when Great Britain made it up to Pool A. So you realise exactly what it means to, to all of them. And I think the, the hurt of 12 months ago will play a factor in their motivation today. And there's no doubt that, to me, they're going to be able to put in a stronger performance than they did against Lithuania. What's their key to winning today? I think they've just got to be really, really disciplined. I don't think they can allow themselves at any point in this game to get away from the game plan. It's that attention to detail where they've been really, really good. They've got to be strong in the neutral zone. They've got to win the 50-50 battles. They're playing up against a big, strong, skilled team who skate very well. So the big key, if you're going to do that, make sure, first of all, that, that you're good in your own end. That In the neutral zone, you know what you're doing. This is a, a very small neutral zone, so make it very hard for them to get through make transition difficult for them and then it's going to come down to the fact that Great Britain have to have to be clinical if they're not clinical in front of goal against a very very strong goaltender maybe the best goaltender in this tournament I think they're going to find it very very difficult so for me those are the key areas if they do get power plays we're hoping that David Clark is going to cash in he's been waiting he's had tons of shots in this tournament it just hasn't quite come to the fruition for him yet hopefully he's waiting for today well, let's catch all the action and Andy Friends, the Ice Hockey UK's General Secretary, joins Seth for commentary. A generation of British players have been unable to achieve the feat of promotion. This, though, is the fifth opportunity since their last in 1993 for the GB side to win gold. Never has it been clearer in their focus as to what they must do. Just 12 months ago, they were in exactly the same position in Eindhoven, where all they needed was one point against Lithuania. They were defeated by three goals to two. That taste remains very bitter and still in the mouths of many of these players. This tournament, though, Great Britain have played well. They're the only team who remains undefeated. And now, one more point will ensure that they finish top of the podium and that they finally get promoted. As Richardson has it, they go from right to left, wearing the white home jerseys, the white away jerseys, should I say. It's the blue and yellow home shirts of Ukraine. As Cowley works it from behind the net, kicks it forward, chance in front, great save, rebound, Tate. Can he score? Double save. Great Britain thought they'd scored, and it's cleared off the line. Two wonderful chances for Ashley Tate, but standing in his way was Zagashenko, who's had a superb tournament. What an opportunity in the opening minute of this game for Great Britain. Wow. Deflection again, Weaver sends this into the body. Rebound, Clark, there's another chance side of the net. Where is it? Somehow, somehow, Zagajenko makes the save and Mosey and Clark both denied. That was just unbelievable. I don't know how that goal is stopped. That makes the initial save, gives the rebound. Mosey's there trying to poke it in and the Ukrainian Defenseman just dives down on the ice as well. He may have even blocked the shot. It may have been under him. How did that not go in? It's Phillips into the offensive zone left side. Gets to the hash marks. Drop pass. Lakovic spins 360. Back it goes again. Tip goal! Jonathan Phillips scores and he pumps the floor. 
and his fists in delight as Josh Batch with the bullet from the blue line. The high tip from the hash marks and GB have the lead. And for the fifth game in the row, they score the first goal of the game. And Jonathan Phillips, boy, is he ever having the tournament of his life. Hits Boxel out in front as he makes another good block. Richardson takes it back. Ukraine have stepped up their four check. They've got a chance out in front. Shot goes all the way through and they equalise. Ukraine have tied it at one goal each. A misplay in the zone. And it fell to the man out in front who was able to convert from close range. Dmitry Chernyshenko. Through bounds and rolled over the line. And now Great Britain, who are still in a good position, will face some onslaught. Great Britain won, Ukraine won. Well, now it's uh, game on again, so to speak. 15-35 um, remaining in the third period here. Put goes hard towards the net from Ukraine. It rips off the boards. Phillips does well. Now GB in a foot race on the far side. Cowley will win it. And he can break with Ross Venus. They've got a three on two. Tate stretching, breaks into the zone. It was a hard pass. Tate keeps it up high. Venus goes behind the net. Can he keep possession? Puts it in front. Cowley with a chance. Can he finish off? Terrific save from Zakashenko to deny Russell Cowley a fourth goal. Cowley's looking at him there as he skates past, thinking, how the hell did you keep hold of that? Great save by the goalie. What a play by Ross Venus to get it out in front again. 1-1 with Ukraine. As it stands, it's enough. They'll still play overtime if it stays like this. But Great Britain, oh no, this could be a chance now for Ukraine. They break into the zone. It's a broken play, taking it round the back of the net. GB with body stacked up. Chance to make they score! Oh no! Pobedanotsev, back door, gives Ukraine a golden chance with 3.56 to go. And Great Britain could be crushed as they go behind for the first time in this tournament. A broken play in the neutral zone led to the chance. And now Great Britain desperately need a goal. It's Ukraine 2, Great Britain 1. Romanenko in possession in his own zone. Plays it behind the back of the net. Tate goes on the four check. The goaltender falls down. There's a penalty coming. An interference call on Russell Cowley. And has he called this one both ways? Or has he just called it on Great Britain? With three minutes to go, Cowley will go. And Ukraine are going to go on the power play. Wow. Well, the goaltender sets up a roadblock, and Cowley just turned to skate after the puck, and he just didn't move. The puck remains in play, 15 seconds to go. It's do or die for Evan Mosey in Great Britain. He goes up the middle, he flips it into the corner. There's Robert down. Back it goes to Shields. Shields can't handle on the boards. Ukraine are gonna do it. Four seconds to go, the buzzer's gonna go. Great Britain crushed again as they fall at the final fence. A late goal gives Ukraine glory and Great Britain beaten to gold. Huge disappointment in Zagreb. 2-1 it finishes in favour of Ukraine. And dreams of gold and dreams of promotion must wait for another year. Just uh, like I think everybody looking down on the bench is absolutely stunned. That, that third period I'd like to see what the shots were on goal. Obviously we haven't gotten them, they haven't come through yet. You can pick that up pretty quick. but. GB players down on one knee on the ice right now and that goal, it wasn't a pretty goal either that they scored but they all count. Head coach Pete Russell sits on the bench as the players go out and they receive the adulation quite rightly. 
from the fans on the far side. They're going to have to go down the tunnel first. Let's go down ringside to Chris Ellis and get some instant reaction, Chris. Well, I've got the assistant coach, Tommy Watkins. T Tommy, can you try and put into words what has just happened? I'm just bitterly disappointed. I think it's tough to, to explain it right now, but bitterly disappointed. You know, we've, we've same feeling as last season and you can't explain it. Ukraine maybe just, just showed that experience they were behind in, for much of the game, just going into those final. They got strong, didn't they, in the third period? They really threw it at you. Yeah, they did. But, you know, they, they come to play. It was a big game, and uh, it's the way hockey goes. How now do you, do you lift yourselves? Because it's going to be a long summer. It's going to be a long time till they can come again. What, what will you try and say to the guys in the room? Right now, I don't know. Um, like I said, we've been here before, so it's not an easy situation. Um, we have got a long summer ahead. Um, you know, the, the, the boys have battled really hard. They've done a great job all week. And uh, to be sitting here again with his feelings, it's horrible. Um, let's say a big thank you to the Barmy Army. You know, they've been great, always are, always travel and support. And uh, you know, without them, it, it, it's not the same. So the atmosphere in here today, up to those guys has been tremendous. Pete, can you put into words how are you feeling? Can you try and sum that up? Oh, terrible. I never thought after last year we'd feel like that again. And um, maybe worse this time. What What was it that, that did it for you in the end? Ukraine, I spoke to Tommy. Did they maybe just show their experience in the last few minutes? I don't know. It was a scramble. And I need to see it again in the video. And obviously they got to a rebound. We didn't really give much away before that, I didn't think. But um, anyway, I don't know. You know so close again but so far and uh, it's tough you've got to I guess sit back and assess where it eventually went wrong but you look back 12 months ago you've definitely improved as a nation and, and, and as a team so so that maybe will give you some food for comfort yeah we're still in the same spot though um, it's, it's just I don't know you know it's to be honest they gave everything they had and we weren't good enough today in the end um, there's no excuses they scored more goals than us, and you know, and that's the way it goes in the end of it. Tommy mentioned the fans, and, and a lot of them are still here. That they're backing all week. It's, it's been fabulous, hasn't it? Yeah, they just, yeah, for sure. We wanted to win it for them, um, and we really believe we could. But you know, sometimes things don't happen, and it's tough. Again, you know, two years in a row. It's just, I don't know. Maybe a. It's, I don't really know what to say, to be honest. You know, honestly, the guys were great this week. We fell short again, but it's not done through lack of trying and lack of, you know, maybe the first period we took more of our chances, I guess. Um, but maybe being up, we hung on a little bit instead of trying to take more to them. I don't know. You know what? Can't ask anymore. It's not worked. We've not went up. And uh, there's nothing else you can say, Chris. Well, words can't really describe this feeling right now. For a second year in a row, GB miss out on gold. It was about seven minutes last year in Netherlands when Lithuania took the lead and that denied ultimately GB the gold. It was just three and a bit minutes here which saw GB miss out this time. Seth, how, how do you describe what, what happened there? Well, gut-wrenching, heartbreaking, anything that makes you, you feel in a way like that. You know, people were... were tweeting in talking about the fact that they felt sick through that final period and, and understandably so I mean this team came so very very close to taking that big step which would have been a gold medal and, and promotion back to the second tier of world ice hockey the frustration is that they were only behind for three minutes and 56 seconds in the whole tournament and as we stand here now the players will be well there'll be an awful lot of tears a lot of frustration in that locker room right now because in my opinion, they deserved an awful lot more. I think they probably were the best team um, on their five performances through this tournament. It hasn't been rewarded by results. Ukraine, though, to their credit, when, when the chips were down for them going into that third period, they, for the first time, I think someone came really hard at GB, don't you feel? They did, but Great Britain, for a long time, they bent, but they didn't break. And if you look at the two goals, OK, the first goal is a shot that had a little bit of traffic that Ben Bounds wasn't quite able to keep out. The second goal was just horrible. It was a misplayed play in the neutral zone that gave possession. And then again, it turned over again and everybody was out of position, everybody was scrambling and it could have broken anywhere. 
In the end, it breaks back door to, to the player who gambles and he fires home. No chance for Ben Bounds on that. And if you want to, if you want to lose to a goal, you'd like to lose to a, a good goal. You know, you think back to the Challenge Cup final where Evan Mosey scores an absolutely stunning goal in a really tight game. You accept that. I think when it's a, a broken play like that, I think it's much more difficult to take. And that will be the frustration, you know, to, to go again and to use that old Aussie cricketing term, were the scars reopened with that defeat today against Ukraine? And, and you've got to feel that, that maybe they were. You know, is this GB team in the big moments, has it got enough to be able to get over the line? Well, the history of the last two years, actually the history of the last 20 years will tell you no, because on five occasions, Great Britain have had opportunities to win a gold medal. And on you know, four of those occasions, they've won a silver medal. Right now, we don't know whether they're going to win silver or bronze, but they certainly won't be winning that gold. So it's a, it's a huge body blow to, to this programme because, you know, that for me, they did enough. So many positives right up until three minutes to go, which when it's all said and done, it might make a little bit of difference. It might bring some people some comfort, but I know you want to touch on Jonathan Phillips in particular, don't you? Yeah, he won the player of the tournament from a, a British perspective. I thought he was outstanding. Three goals, three games in a row, he, he scored the opening goal. But it was everything that he did, all parts of his game. But his finishing was superb. His opportunism, his work rate is never, ever questioned, but his offensive output. And that line of Boxhill, Lakovic and Phillips was stunning. The moment they were put together, they became a force, not just defensively, but offensively as well. I think he, he had a tournament, he had the tournament of his life, but he had a tournament that I hope he has the opportunity to re replicate again in 12 months' time. And today, I think it was Stevie Lee got man of the match, and I know you were just saying before we came here, you, you thought he was outstanding. Yeah, phenomenal player, Steve Lee. I, I, if you don't watch him every week, you don't appreciate what he can do. Offensively, he is terrific terrific player he, he can create so much he's good on the boards and he can take big amounts of ice time as well and for me he was the standout GB defenseman through this tournament I think you could pick any one of seven I thought Garside had another wonderful game today his conversion from a centre to a defenseman seems to be going very very well good work from the guys in Belfast to, to make that happen but you know I think for me Stevie Lee absolutely stood out and I think if I was going to touch on maybe one more thing in this tournament is the development of this team mm. you know a new cap in Evan Mosey, he didn't score a goal, but he had a very good tournament. A first World Championships for Ross Venus. And Ross Venus, 21 years of age, he wasn't alive last time Great Britain got promotion and won a gold medal. He was brilliant. And he earned his spot on this team. I think people maybe looked at him when he was included above some other names and thought, well, I'm not sure. He played his role to perfection. He put up some points as well. But I thought in this game, again, he was absolutely outstanding. And... You know, although many people will look at the older players in this squad and say, well, where's the next generation coming through? Ross Venus is one of four or five players that won't be too far away from this squad and that will be part of this squad for the next five or ten years going forward. Thank you. Thanks, Seth, for all your sterling work on, on the BBC this week. And to Aaron Murphy and Paul Ady, who came out on Premier Sports, and, and they covered it too. There were, there was many ways. And all our coverage this week has been brought to you by people behind the scenes, Martin and Dave and Colin, who've done fabulous work. It's just a shame that it's, it's deja vu. What Once more, it's just the, the same sick feeling as 12 months ago. GB gave it their all. They came even closer this year. But in the end, they just couldn't get over and they will not win the gold medal. Thanks for following us this week on Ice Hockey UK TV in association with McDonald's. And we're sure to see you soon. <laughs>